Really quick, just one more test. Hello. You're not supposed to be able to wiggle in that chair. Okay. Uh, hi. Hi. Three, two, one. Hi. <laughs> Actually, let's just start. Okay. You have something on your nose. So Charlotte and I were talking the other day about modesty. And we don't talk about modesty all the time, believe me. It's not one of those things that's just like, we're constantly, you know, we are thinking modesty about. Yeah, we're not philosophers in any way. Anyways, uh, we realized that there's something very important that I don't think we've ever shared with any of you on the blog um, or our YouTube channel about our modesty standards. And that peculiar fact is that our parents didn't tell us really anything about modesty. No. Growing up, uh, it was never really talked about. We, we girls were young at the time and we just like, you know, we were little girls. Yep. We didn't really care about what we wore as far as like if it covered us enough or well, anything. Yeah, we were in that wonderful innocent stage <laughs> and we hadn't really come out of that yet. So. Yeah. And okay. then we moved here to Ohio and that was that was whenever I started changing everything started she turned changing. Thirteen. Yeah, and um, it was a kind of a big scary year. Not really. I mean, it was just weird. You know, every every new teenager goes through it. It's just a weird year, and I had a really hard time shopping for clothes. So I tried everything. I tried to wear pants. I tried, you know, just going the, the typical what you would get at Kohl's, what you would get at Target, Target, what you would get at, you know, just about any clothing JC store. Mm -hmm. yeah. we, we really didn't think that much about it, but then, you know, mom kind of brought something up that we, it was a bit of a light bulb for us girls, and we started reading a book by Stacy McDonald, mm -hmm. uh, Raising Maidens of Virtue. Mm -hmm. And a light bulb went off in all of our heads and we were like, you know what, we're getting to a stage where our bodies are changing and we're going to become a lot more noticed. And so we need to be very deliberate about how we cover ourselves. Besides that book, yes. we also Raising went, to, virtue. We also went to um, a very uh, conservative Christian conference and we were surrounded by the homeschool look. Yes. You know, there's khaki pants on all the guys and then long, long skirts. skirts on all the girls. Ruffle skirts. And we're, we were like, I think that, I just, I always remember that as like the turning points. Like, we oh, were all struck. Like, oh, is this how it works? Yeah. 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 And so, Whenever uh, Jessica started to shop in the women's section, you know, we started to just like kind of not really go for the pants anymore and we start to make skirts. Yeah. Well, and for, for one thing, yeah. I just, I'm, I'm such an itty bitty little person. <laughs> they never worked. Yeah. <laughs> they never, pants never worked on me. And I, I just, I, I don't know, I started not liking the way that they felt and but, so. but mom and dad never set down guidelines for us like three inches below the knee yeah. and three inches below the collarbone, yeah. nothing like that. We, we never had to like make sure our arms, arms were constantly covered or anything like that. They gave us flexibility and freedom of expression with how we dressed. And we, we girls were raised in a household where our parents' advice was honored. Is it, it is honored and mm -hmm. it we heed it with all of our hearts. And so just going to them about clothing choices was second nature. Every right. time we'd go shopping, we'd always ask mom, what do you think of this? Right. And she would tell us, and we would take their opinion to heart. Mm -hmm. And, but most of the time, it was Bridget Charlotte and I who were actually like figuring out what we really liked. Mm -hmm. And it just happened to be okay with mom and dad. Yeah. That's all that it ever was. That, that's yeah. like ninety percent of the time. That's what it was. We were never rebellious about it. We just had no interest in that. We had no interest in dressing in a way that was distasteful to our parents. 
Um, and honestly, uh, the way I like to put it is that our parents didn't rule us with laws and guidelines whenever it came to modesty. Instead, they prayed for us. And honestly, I think that it was their prayers that helped us more than anything. It's because the Lord instilled in our hearts a standard and a, an innate sense of wanting to cover ourselves. Dad uh, kind of entered the conversation um, that we were having with Mom about all of this and you know the fact that we realized you know, our parents really never told us what to do with our clothes. We, we pretty much established what we liked and, and they said, yeah, it looks great. Uh, but Dad said, um, he, he was the one who pointed out that he and Mom prayed an awful lot uh, whenever we were entering our teen years. And those are some difficult years. Um, I'll just, you know, say it one more time. It, it's not... A it's walk in the park. Nope. Yeah. Yeah. So. Oh. <laughs> so, you know, we, 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 we kind of entered that that phase open to, to anything. Yeah. And um, I guess the point of this video is just to say that with the modesty uh, culture that we have as Christians, um, it, we can tend to be extremely legalistic. Mm -hmm and very judgmental and really narrow-minded about standards and like what the Bible says about it. And honestly, what it all comes down to is what is in your heart. Because anyone could be dressed, for, they could be dressed from head to toe in a completely modest, modest outfit, but their heart isn't there. Yeah. Um, I've seen girls like that. And yeah. It's kind of strange. It's a weird, it's a weird thing to see. Yeah. It, it, you know, it's all a matter of, of, of the heart. We, we cannot shackle modesty with rules and guidelines. That's just going to kill it and make it die off. Just like with everything else in the, in the Bible, if, if you just make it an action rather than something from the heart, it's going to die because you're not truly in that thing wholeheartedly. You're not seeking it with your whole heart. So that's, we just wanted to chat with you all about that today. Um, we hope you enjoyed this video. We'd love to hear your thoughts on this topic in the comments below. Um, like, were you raised with modesty guidelines? Did those help you? Mm -hmm. uh, what is your background with this? Um, are you just inter being introduced into this whole world of dressing modestly or are you a veteran in it? <laughs> We'd love to know. Yeah. Talk to us below. So thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.